I think it's about time to do my yearly, this is how I make lots of money just using credit cards tactically. Now, if you guys have seen these videos in the past last year, or whenever I did them, uh, I'm a big fan of credit card churning. I will get credit cards and then I will take the introductory offers, which is often, you know, spend some amount and get $200 free, you know, $300 free or whatever. Uh, and I just keep the cards open. I don't put money on them afterwards or sometimes a little bit of money. Um, but that actually adds, I mean, you could get lots and lots of free money because all of these credit card companies, at least in America, are desperately trying to get more customers. They're trying to get stupid customers who are just, I don't know, entranced by free money. Uh, and for everyone who isn't stupid, you could basically just, you could churn cards, you can pay for your normal expenses on them uh, and just keep the cards. Uh, and it doesn't do you any harm. In fact, over time it actually having all that credit, it looks good on your credit score if that means anything. Um, so, but in this video, I, I've talked about that in the past. I'm not gonna just repeat that video. Instead, I am going to do what's in my wallet, the, the equivalent of that, what I actually, what specific cards I actually recommend that people use if you're thinking about getting into this. Or really at this point, I've almost churned every card on the market. I haven't actually done any duplicates. Sometimes you can uh, get more than one of the same card. Um, but I want to just give just talk about how I make money back on credit cards in general. Now, just to give you some perspective, a lot of people, last time I did this video, there were always naysayers who like literally, you, you tell them you can get free money from this and they just hate it for some reason because I, I don't know, they're, they're just people like that. Um, but just a matter of perspective, this year I actually bought a new used car, okay? Um, and it was a phenomenal deal. I got, it. this is almost unbelievable, especially in the used car market, you know, this year. Um, but I got a used Lexus for less than $2,000. Runs phenomenally, runs like it just got pulled off the lot. Um, so my way of thinking of that is that $2,000, I made that just from credit cards in the past year, just from like using credit cards for the things that I was gonna buy anyway, um, with the different offers they have. So basically doing this got me a free car. That's how I think of that, okay? But anyway, l let's go ahead and talk about it. So firstly, I have six different cards I'm gonna talk about and why I use them. And there's actually a seventh that I don't have that I wanna talk about. Uh, but either way, the first card that I usually recommend people to get if I'm recommending someone in real life to, to actually start churning credit cards, get the Chase Freedom card. Or really this has been rebranded to be the Chase Freedom Flex card. Um, this is, I, in fact, when I first did my video on this a couple of years ago, I didn't even have this card, and I feel so stupid because I probably make the most money off of this uh, every year, probably close to at least $1,000 just on this card alone, and that's for multiple reasons. Uh, and mind you, I don't even spend that much, okay? I, I just want to be clear, it's easy to make money off this card. Firstly, it has an introductory offer of uh, if you spend 500 bucks on this card in the first three months, you get 200 back, so that's 200 free dollars. But it actually has a second introductory offer. Normally you'll have you know just something like that and that'll be it, but this actually comes with two introductory offers. The second one being just as useful, in fact, you could probably make even more off this depending on how much you spend, in the first year that you have this card, they will give you 5% back on all groceries you buy with it, okay? And everyone buys groceries, okay? So that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, I only buy from grocery stores. Now it doesn't, I should say, it doesn't work at like um, Walmart and stuff like that, uh, but any grocery store that is just a grocery store, it will work on. Um, so that can mean lots and lots of money just saved. An average person who doesn't even spend that much uh, you are going to be buying groceries uh, and you're, so you can benefit from this. But the main effect of this card, the main thing that it does, the main gimmick, is it is a 5% rotating category card. Um, and that means that every quarter, so you know the year is divided into four quarters, every quarter Chase decides, oh, we're going to give you 5% back for these two categories or something like that. Uh, and they are all, they're very generous categories. They could be um, anything, for example, anything you buy with PayPal, buy this card. Like if you set this up with PayPal, you can get 5% back on everything through a quarter or something like that. Um, and that is actually phenomenal because you can buy everything on PayPal. Or it might give you, uh, for a quarter, 5% back on gas stations. Uh, I think right now they have 5% back on Walmart and PayPal. I, I think that's what they're doing right now. I actually haven't used this much. I, I haven't had 
the reason to uh, use this that much uh, this quarter. But uh, last last year when they were doing the PayPal thing, I actually bought, I actually put a thousand dollars down buying. Uh, an Airbnb thing for a couple of days, like a vacation. And I got 5% back on that vacation, right? Because of that. Um, so this is, so the normal effect of this, the, the rotating categories thing that it's actually really good. Uh, you can get 5% back on, you know, groceries or, or uh, gas. Oh, actually, uh, you know, they do do groceries as a category and it is cumulative with the amount you earn in the introductory offer. So, or it, it ends up being like 9% back or something. So like this past, a couple months they were doing groceries as the 5% back category and I had 5% back uh, in the introductory offer so I was actually getting 9% back I don't know how that math works but that's what that's what showed up you know I got 9% back on my groceries and I actually stocked up my freezer and stuff like that um, because I knew I was getting in a little cheap so chase freedom renamed the chase freedom flex this is what I recommend to people um, you know, often as a first card, uh, just because you can get so much from, oh yeah, and I didn't even say one of the biggest ways uh, that I can make money off of this, I mean, you can too, um, but there's actually just like a, a referral link that you that comes with it. You can make, if you recommend five people, like you can recommend five people to use this card uh, and for each one you get $100 credit, okay? So that's a lot. And this card is actually, this can save a lot of people money. There are a bunch of credit cards where you can recommend people, I mean, they're crap and you can recommend people to them. You know, they have stupid annual fees. This of course doesn't. None of these cards have annual fees that I'm gonna talk about. I think they're total ripoffs um, uh, if they do have that. But uh, you can recommend your mom or your girlfriend or whoever to get this card and you get $100 free credit. I just put this on my website Okay, like on the article where I'm talking about like credit card uh, stuff and uh, I will get those five clicks like within January or February. I've already gotten them for this year. So, you know, I, I'm not shilling this to you. I mean, you can click on my referral link, but I already got the money for this year, but whatever. Um, so that is something to keep in mind too. So as far as I'm concerned, that that's 500 free dollars because this is a good recommendable card. Um, card number two um, is Discover It. Now, Discover It basically is the same thing. It, it works the same way. It's a rotating category card. Um, so it, I'm not going to talk that much about it because it's the same principle. They, I think right now they're giving you 5% back on Walmart.com, uh, uh, Target.com, and uh, Amazon. You know, Target and Amazon I'm never going to use. Walmart, sometimes I use. I usually get like oil, like engine oil from Walmart. That's about it. <laughs> uh, sometimes other things. Um, but uh, again, they can give gas station or you know gas gas stations like five percent back on that groceries whatever same kind of things. Obviously, it goes very well with these because uh, or this card because they're basically never doing the same thing at the same time. Uh, I, I guess right now this is technically doing Walmart in-store purchases and this one is doing Walmart.com, uh, but those are you know kind of different. Um, so having these two is actually really nice because basically every year they're going to do things like gas stations or restaurants or something like that. So, I mean, if one, if one is doing one quarter and one is doing the other, you're basically half the year, you're getting 5% back on that category. Now, discover it is also nice because the first year you have it, I only recently got this card, but the first year you have it, they actually double the cash back you get from everything. Okay. So instead of getting, you know, uh, 5% back from walmart.com, I'm actually getting 10% back right now. Um, or, you know, next quarter, their category is going to be groceries. So instead of getting 5% back on groceries, I'm actually going to get 10% back because it's my first year of having this card. Um, and again, I only recently got this. It's a, a pretty common one. A lot of people will have it. But um, uh, anyway, that's about it. So th these are these go very nice together um, and they're worth getting. Uh, although Discover It does not just give you a lump sum like a lot of these cards do at the beginning, but that double cash back is actually pretty useful anyway. So card number three um, is, I, actually, before I said, should say that, before I go into the Wells Fargo Propel, I will just go and say, there's one card I don't have that I want to have that would go even better with this. This card came out this year. It's called the City Custom Cash, and how it works is you can use it on anything, of course. I mean, any of these you can use on anything, but um, uh, how it works is every single month, whatever category you spent most on, you get 5% back of that. So you could spend it on groceries or gas stations or restaurants or whatever, and you will get 5% back on that. So it's sort of like these two, except for you get to choose how to use it, and it comes with an introductory offer. I think you get 200 bucks free. Um, that card I plan on getting 
Uh, after the grocery offer at the beginning of first quarter is over with this card, I will probably get city custom cash uh, just to pay for my groceries on that because you know my introductory offer with this uh, expired a couple months ago. But um, so city custom cash is a, a nice card that I'm, I'm sort of that's that's sort of the last card that I really want that I don't have. But anyway, card number three that I have is Wells Fargo Propel. Um, I want to say this is a relatively new card too. It actually is somewhat it's like half metallic or something. Uh, it doesn't feel that different, but it's a little more weighty. Uh, and it's one of the best, you know, no annual fee cards you can get. Uh, now, it doesn't do any of the, the newfangled rotating category stuff. It's actually simpler than that. Um, firstly, you do get an introductory offer with this. Um, I, I think it was 200 bucks. But, um, and of course, these un introductory offers, I should say, they do change. Like, it might be 200 might be 250 might be 150 uh, A lot of times they're the same. This is pretty consistently 200 uh, but anyway, so the effect of this card, it's very nice. Uh, no rotating categories or anything, but what it does is it just gives you 3% back on restaurants, on anything travel related. That can mean gas, that can mean hotels, that can mean um, airfare, that can mean Uber and Lyft, that can mean public transportation. 3% back on all of those categories. So this is just really nice to have for all, I, like I pay for restaurants and that, you know, if. If one of these doesn't have a rotating category for restaurants, I will use this. 3% back is still very, very good. Um, so it is just nice to have. And there are a lot of like annual fee cards that you know you pay $500 a year for um, that get the same effects of it as this. You know, I, I don't know why you would use that unless you have some kind of like points magic you're doing. Um, I recommend just getting this. And I will make a comment. Um, notice that like I have cards from a bunch of different companies. Um, that's partially because I'm choosing the best cards from each company, you know, that go together or whatever. But that, that also has another benefit, and that is every week or two when I'm bored, I will open up the sites to all of these cards, and they will have, you know, a weekly deal or something like that, or a deal that will last for the next month uh, that you can benefit from. So one example, and I have another American Express card, but, you know, this is an American Express card. American Express... In, uh, specifically has this really great deal I just made $50 from this where um, it's called shop small um, and it, it's they're very generous they, they were doing something for this Christmas season where if you spend if you if you go to a local restaurant or local hardware store or just local store and spend more than $10 you will get a $10 credit okay you literally like if you spend $10 and one cent you will get $10 in credit back you just paid one cent for that thing. Uh, and you can do that five times. I've actually already done that five times with this and gotten the fi free $50. And um, American Express cards have been doing that um, a, a couple times a year, basically. Uh, and that, that's very nice. But anyway, all of the, the advantage of having different cards from different companies is that they'll all have like some special deals going on. Most of them are trash, frankly. Um, but there are a lot that I've gotten like, oh, here, oh, you can get like... Um, uh, hotel, I got a hotel.com gift card for like 20% off or something like, like stuff like that, where th if you're already going to buy something, you might as well make your points or whatever go even further. So that's a, another advantage of having all these different cards. Um, no, uh, one card, I, I I'll talk about this because it's in my wallet and I use it a whole lot, but uh, this is kind of an exclusive card. This is card number four. Um, this is a USAA uh, cashback rewards plus card. Now, um, USAA is actually not open to everyone. It's only open to Americans who have family members in the military. Um, and it could be very distantly in the military, but that is who USAA is open for. USA is great. They give, uh, they have great rates for insurance and everything else. Um, but I have this card just because it is, it gives you 5% back all the time on gasoline. That is the only reason I have this card. I always keep it on my wallet. I don't use it for anything else other than gas, and it actually gives you 5% back for other things you buy at gas stations. Uh, but this is that. This is all I use for that. Um, now, again, USAA is kind of exclusive. If you cannot get, if you can't get USAA, you can just use the Wells Fargo Propel. It gives you 3% back on gas, or one of these, which if they happen to have a, a rotating category. But uh, this is what I use, and I've actually had this card for a little bit, um, and it, it's just nice. 5% back on gas. It also gives you 2% back on groceries, but that is subsumed by this next card, okay? 
Um, now, when all of these cards, they have very fancy features, you know, oh, 3% back on this, 5% back on this, depending on what time it is. This is like a super simple card. This is a PayPal MasterCard. And basically, if I'm buying something that isn't doesn't have some specialty that one of these cards is going to give me a lot of money for, I will use the PayPal MasterCard. Why is that? The only effects of this card is it gives you 2% back on literally everything. If I'm buying something from a local hardware store, uh, I will use this card. If I'm paying for my bills, all of my bills I pay for on this card uh, because they're not part of any other category and I just get the 2% back. So this is a nice and simple card. It's actually easier to get than most cards. I don't think they even do a hard pull on your credit, um, but this is a really fantastic card um, just for that. It, it doesn't do anything fancy, but actually I even, so you guys know I, I have this site, lindypress.net, where I sell uh, out of print books. Um, well, I actually have this card do my expenses on that uh, on that site because I need to, uh, you know, if you buy, you know, $100 in books from that site, my expenses might be 50 bucks. Um, I actually have this card automatically pay for those expenses, you know, shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually getting 2% back on all my expen business expenses. I actually really use this card more as a business card. Um, I, I don't really actually take it around that off. Actually, I should say the Discover card, since I'm still in my first year, gives you 5% back on rotating categories and 1% back on everything else. But since things are doubled for the first year, this actually, you know, I should just like carry around this and use it instead of that because I'm getting 2% back on everything else. Uh, but this is basically my business card. Um, and of course, if you just want a card that gives you a good solid cash back amount, this, you know, this will work if you don't want to have to think about it. But I recommend thinking about it. This doesn't have any introductory offer or anything like that. But anyway, so the last card in my ha I, I have in my wallet, I didn't expect to ever actually use. Uh, and this is the American Express, I think, Blue Cash. It might just be, ca it just says cash on it, but I think it's actually called Blue Cash. The American Express is confusing because they have a bunch of different, like, Blue Cash every day, everyday cash, whatever. Either way, this is the one, the, the blue one with the guy's, you know, face on it. Uh, who is that? Is that like, I don't know, Perseus? I, I don't know who this is supposed to be, like the, the American Express guy. Either way, some kind of vaguely Greek guy. I don't actually know the lore of American Express. Either way, um, I got this card actually earlier in this year, like all the other cards I get, just to, you know, pump and dump the introductory offer. Uh, but this one has stayed in my wallet for a couple reasons. Uh, this is the first American Express card I've gotten through American Express. And I will say that the actual features of this card are pretty weak. It just gives you 100 or 1.5% uh, back on everything, which of course is useless if I have this, because I could just use this instead and make more money. But American Express cards themselves come with so many deals. I mentioned that you, know, you can look online and get a bunch of deals for stuff. This one comes with so many different deals uh, that it honestly makes it worth my time to, to keep it in my wallet. Um, and I, do, I, I did put this card on, um, uh, this does come with an, a referral link, uh, referral link like Chase, and I think I put it on my website. Every once in a while, someone will click on it and I'll get seventy-five bucks or something. Actually, I want to say Discover It has a referral link. I haven't, maybe I haven't put it up there, uh, but uh, every once in a while, I'll get you know a referral link for this, and I think it's seventy-five bucks. Uh, I forget what the maximum number of referrals is in a year. There's always a max because you know if there weren't a max, I would just be here every day telling you to get credit cards and I'd get a hundred bucks for each of them, <laughs> which would be obscene. Um, but um, so this card I have just because American Express has a lot of extra goodies, um, extra benefits and uh, things that, you know, I check the site every week or two just to activate whatever's good. Um, and there's, there's always, I don't know, I'm trying to, I mentioned the shop small thing that this card had as well. Uh, but a lot of times American Express will just give stuff with these. Uh, and American Express cards are actually just good to have uh, because American Express is pretty liberal with like expanding your credit line. Um, you know, the, the word on the street is that, you know, if you have a card for three years, you can pretty much triple your credit line uh, and they, they'll accept whatever you, you uh, want. Um, so American Express is nice just to have because it looks good on your credit record. Um, and again, there are a bunch of hidden benefits, but the card itself, like American Express cards themselves, if you look them up, they're, none of them are really that impressive, I will go ahead and say, if you look at just the features. Uh, but this is still in my wallet and I still use it for things. Uh, and of course, most American Express cards are 
uh, annual fee cards, oh, you know, 500 bucks a year, um, which is a total waste. I mean, they, they'll come with, you know, something like $200 credit for travel or Uber or something. But any annual fee card, I just don't think of as being worth, worth it. So anyway, all things considered, um, all of these cards, this one probably makes me around a thousand bucks a year. This one, um, I, I'm not quite sure. I want to say this probably makes me a little less than 500 a year. I've had this for less of a year, less than a year, but this is just me, you know, multiplying things in my head. Uh, I'm not really sure how much the Wells Fargo makes me. Maybe a little less because I don't, you, you know, I don't do travel stuff as much, but you know, it could be, could be maybe a hundred dollars. Uh, and of course, it has an introductory offer too. Um, the USAA card probably makes me around a hundred bucks. That's you know five percent back on gas. I guess I spend around two thousand um, on gasoline a year. That's about what it makes me. Uh, this I don't really know because I use it as a business card now, and that's been something I've started recently. So sometimes it can make me a hundred bucks a month because I have you know again I have that business that's processing a bunch of transactions. But you know for an average person using it, hey, it's going to make you some amount of money. Oh, and the other nice thing about this. Um, is that you can redeem any amount. A lot of times, let's say USAA, uh, you can only redeem uh, points or credit or like cash back if you have at least like $20, $25 or something. PayPal, you can re redeem like even one cent, it works. Um, and I should also say pretty much with all of these cards, um, like once, if you make, you know, a hundred bucks uh, on the Chase Freedom Flex as a cash back thing, um, you can redeem that in different places. You can have it deposited in a checking account, even a non-Chase checking account. Um, I know, in a, at least in uh, Discover, I know that you can put it on account credit, but probably the most effective way of using that cash back is actually getting gift cards for things you're going to uh, need. I think I mentioned I got a Hotels.com gift card or whatever. Uh, and the reason I do this is because gift cards, they will often give you, they will like increase the value of your points by like 10 or 20% because of that. So you're getting a hundred dollars back, but if you put that in a gift card for something you know you're gonna use, that hundred dollars is actually $120 or something like that. So um, yeah, so this is a great way of just making lots of money back. I, I do it all the time. Again, like I bought a car recently, uh, which is was cost basically less than how much I make off credit cards. And I am not a big spender, to be clear. You should know, if you know me, I do not spend a lot of money. Like if I spend, I don't know, like I try to keep everything, including bills less than 500 a month, okay? Sometimes I can't do that, but you know. Um, either way, check check these cards out. Again, I more or less recommend uh, Chase Freedom slash Chase Freedom Flex. That's really what it is, Flex. Uh, don't get confused with the Chase Freedom Unlimited. That is not a rotating category card, although it does come with similar introductory offers. I recommend this as a, a sort of a first card. Look into the City Custom Cash. Uh, discover it, you know, all, all of these cards are good. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Get free money.